students welcome to muscle contraction part 2 video in this we are going to take the sliding filament theory or the cross switch theory so let's begin with the mechanism mechanism of muscle contraction it can be explained by sliding filament theory what does this theory states as according to this theory what happens thin filament slide over thick filament and this sliding causes contraction of a muscle fiber according to this sliding theory cross bridges are formed so if contraction has to happen what will happen actin filament will slide inward on the myosin filament so actin is the thin filament it will slide inward on the myosin filament that is the thick filament of a band with the help of cross bridges so cross bridge will be formed in order to reduce the length of the sarcomere once the cross bridge is formed the length of the sarcomere will reduce and which in turn will cause the contraction of the muscle you can see cross bridges here here we can see cross bridges are formed these actin filaments and myosin filaments are forming a bridge and they will in turn move these thick filaments will move thin filaments over them the thin filaments will slide over the thick filaments and this bridge will cause shrinking of or shortening of sarcomere which will cause the muscle contraction we can see with the di uh, with the video here we are going to see the cross bridge cycle the functional unit of contraction is called sarcomere so under inside the sarcomere all the process will begin the sarcomere will shorten when it will shorten when myosin heads that is the thick head from uh, it will form a cross bridge the myosin head of the thick myofilament will form a cross bridge with the thin filament 